right, I'm making this video um, for the anti-theft device on a Taurus, Fort Taurus, what does it say, SLE, um, literally my key came apart and I'll try to edit the video and show you the inside of it, but this is just a temporary fix, I have to go to work today, so um, when I get back home, I'll get some uh, crazy glue and try to uh, put it back together. But basically, with the Ford car, they have this anti-theft equipment that literally will not allow your car to start. And as you can see, um, this whole compartment here is a theft system, the anti-theft system. And it runs from the engine all the way up into the steering wheel. And literally, I may be wrong, I'm not a mechanic, but I'm just going off the information I got off YouTube. And basically my issue was my wife had broke the key and the key came off. So of course she called the dealership and guess how much that was? Just to replace the key was $200. And mind you, this is a Ford 2011. And to reprogram the key was another $65. So that would have been a total close to about $270 when you add in and factor in the taxes. So the main issue I was having was this little booger right here. See that? Now when I tried to actually put the key in the ignition, it would not even turn over. It was locked. So I went on online and Saw a couple different videos from people who had older model Ford trucks. And I've I've seen probably maybe a total of four hours worth of videos. So I stayed up all night last night trying to figure this out. And I couldn't figure out why. Because I had I cleaned the motherboard or the, the chip in here as well as the battery. And I kept everything the same. When I took it off, I kept everything the same. And if you can see, it's a little opening right here that allows you to take it off and uh, and get into the actual key itself so it's a very very simple um, construct it's not really that complicated so when my wife called and said the key got stuck in the door my first thought was oh shit you know first of all how I'm gonna get home and then two how I'm gonna fix this and being that we're in the 21st century we all have access to YouTube and it just made perfect sense. So the reason I'm making this video is just more so to help anyone who has an issue with the Ford anti-theft device locking up on their actual car. I tried to dismantle the battery and let it sit and then hope the car reprograms. That didn't work. Um, like I said, this is a 2011 Ford Taurus uh, SLE. And the main thing that I realized was that the metal piece was not connecting here. Everything reads based off of all those wires and this, this key. So it wasn't necessarily a chip. It's just what's in here has that type of feedback mechanism to when you put this in here, it has to hit the metal piece. So I literally would tape it all the way up to about where the bottom of my finger is about right there and i was like okay the car alarm works that was the main issue because the car was literally locked so once i got it together cleaned everything off everything was fine but i couldn't figure out why the hell it wouldn't turn over so i went to the manual that didn't help of course all they say is take it to an authorized dealer and all these other steps that are irrelevant to you actually fixing the problem so I went on youtube and a guy literally said the metal piece and he had a truck. It was a it was an old old truck, probably early early 2000s, if not 1990s. And um, he said basically that this metal piece, or this metal piece, I'm sorry, has that relay feedback mechanism with the chip or whatever technology is inside the key. So I thought, let me go ahead and just cut around. And as you can see, this is my my little work of art. I'm just doing this as a temporary fix, of course, you know, I'm going to 
go to a hardware store or just uh, super glue this back together and you know make it all pretty again but uh literally i cut around the uh the base of where the actual key is just so i wouldn't interrupt that feedback mechanism and lo and behold you see and it turns right from here to here it turns and I can hear everything, even my pump, my brake pump is pumping while it stopped. But here we go. And it turns on and turns over. No click, no, no, uh, no stall. Everything turns over. That anti-theft symbol is gone. And I'm able to go ahead and go to work. So, if you're having an issue with your key, or let's say it the, well, like with my particular situation, my wife actually broke this whole metal piece off. And mind you, all this is is just metal. The technology is in here, right? So as long as you have not lost anything out of here, it should be a simple fix. I mean, YouTube, you know, thank God for YouTube, right? Um, I was able to... Uh, dismantle it clean off everything see if any missing pieces were missing nothing was missing and um yeah i was able to get everything aligned and with the with the help of youtube figure out how these actual alarms work with your uh, with your car and it's um it was very frustrating i'm not gonna lie and i'm just making this video to uh help anybody else that's in need like i said i have a ford Taurus 2011 um, I really don't care if you like or subscribe or anything like that. It doesn't matter to me. My whole deal was, look, this is my situation.